This construction project taking place in a small town just outside Munich in Germany is going to take 1,200 years to complete. The only problem is there's a math mistake in the plan and it's already too late to fix it. This is an art installation. It's called the Zeit Pyramida, which translates literally from the German as time pyramid. And it was put in to celebrate the 1,200 year anniversary of the town right there called Vemding. And I gotta say, as an art installation, I absolutely love this. I think it's very clever. Because the idea was, how on earth can humans appreciate 1,200 years when our lifespan is so much shorter than that? And so what the artist, Munfred Laber decided to do was start an installation that's going to take 1,200 years to finish. So they designed a pyramid made from 120 of these giant concrete blocks and they put in one more block every decade. The first layer of the pyramid is an 8 by 8 grid of cuboids meaning there are 64 blocks that will go in on the ground level and once they're done the pyramid is over half finished. The next layer will not be a 7x7 grid. This is only using the square numbers. There will be a 6x6 grid put in for 36 more blocks resting on top of the first layer and they will line up perfectly. So instead of bridging between the blocks, each one sits perfectly on top of the block below. Future generations can work out how that works structurally. We then carry on the even square numbers, so a 4x4 grid for 16, and finally a 2x2 two two for the top four, making a total of 120 blocks. Now that's a blocky pyramid. The first recorded mention of Vemding was in the year 793, which is why in 1993 it was the 1,200 year anniversary and the first block went in, as well as the concrete pad for the rest of the pyramid. Ten years later, this one went in in the year 2003, this one went in in 2013, and the next one will go in in the year 2023 which is this year. In fact, it's going in tomorrow. That's why we're here. I want to see the fourth ever block go in. I want to see it increment up by one block. And for me, that's why this is such a genius bit of art, because this I can appreciate. Like this, this is the scale of my lifetime. I was 12 when this went in. I was 22 when this went in. I was 32 when this went in. I'm currently 42 when that one's going to go in. And I'll see you all here in the year 2033 when I'm 52, oh my goodness, for the next one up. So as a human, I can appreciate this scale, even though it's incredibly slow. But I look at the whole thing, I'm like, there's no way that that's going to take forever. Well, it's not. If they'd started building this when Vemding was first founded, it'd be done by now. Like, it is an achievable amount of time. It's just more than we can imagine, but we can appreciate it by watching if every, you know, each new generation in Vemding will see a few more of these go in and they'll get a sense of the passing of time. And then, 2,400 years after Vemding was originally founded, the time pyramid will be finished. Except it won't. That's the mistake they made. Here is a fence with four bits of fence, and most people would say that there are therefore four fence posts, but there aren't. There's the one at the front over here. If we get rid of it now, there's as many posts as fences, but we put it in there's one more. This is called the fence post problem. It's a, one of a whole category of problems that often happen in programming called off by one errors. In this case, everyone forgets there's always one more post than there are fences. This can be annoying because it's very counterintuitive. For example, if you were a cleaner who worked from 8 in the morning until 12, and you had to clean a building from the 8th floor to the 12th floor, that looks fine. But 8 to 12, that's 4 hours. But the 8th floor to the 12th floor is 5 floors. Because the time, the hours, we're counting the fences, but the floors are the posts. It's so easy to be off by one. And in this case, yes, if you have 100 and 20 decades, and you start counting from 1993, you will stop in the year 3,193, the 2,400 year anniversary of Vemdeng. However, while there are 120 decades, if you count all of these individual celebration years, there are 121 
celebration years because of the extra fence posts. So if you have 120 cuboids in your pyramid and you put the first one in in 1993, you will then put the last one in in 3183. 10 years too early because you're not putting them in on the decades. You're putting them in on the in-between years. And look at it. Each year has a decade after it. So we're going to stop and then have a decade after it. They made a classic off by one error. Error or no error, the big day was here and people had gathered from all across Germany and the world to see this block been put in. I traveled a long way, as well as me. My mathematical friend, Elia McDonald, had joined me to see the momentous cuboid lowering moment. They had a special wooden jig to make sure they could perfectly space it away from the other blocks. And of course, there was a massive crane. Yeah, its little feet came down so it can support the 6.5 tons of concrete. And then even on the, the mortar bit, there's four much less substantial feet oh, yeah. to kind of support. It's going to rest on those. Yeah, so you're thinking that there's going to be a sandwich situation. I think a sandwich situation. Where they, they kind of spread down some concrete and then... Lower it into that. Block. And those little feet just keep a bit of a separation there. Someone gets the job of like wiping around oh, the, the edge. Yeah. yeah. And a little while ago, they rigged up the crane. So they managed to get these chains down. There are two bits of rebar on the top of the block and they've kind of clipped them onto that. And so I guess in a moment we wait, lifts it up, puts it in place. We're excited. Everyone's excited. Look at the thronging crowd. <laughs> While we waited for the grand lowering, I thought I would find out if anyone cared about this off by one error. And while the artist has very sadly passed away, I was able to talk to their daughter, Barbara. The one-off problem. And <laughs> it's a famous is, problem. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, it's quite interesting. Um, I, I don't know, but I'm quite sure. Uh, I, I haven't been that much in touch with the whole trust and everything yeah. before this event. Uh, it's only developed after my dad died. So I don't know what conversations they led, but I... I I'm quite sure that they considered that problem, even though I'm quite sure that they didn't know it's called my own problem. <laughs> Alien was also on the case, and she managed to find someone involved in the project who admitted that with only 1,200 blocks, you either have a very boring start or a very boring finish. Of course, the yeah, what to do really when it is finished, right? So, do you put an extra stone? Are you just celebrating somehow? Yeah, but also starting without an event is, is tough, right? So I think it's, it is an abstract con concept in the first place. Then at last it was time for the fourth block to be lowered in. And given how hot a summer day this was, we were all very, very ready. But of course, before that, bit of a ceremony. An old guy played a bunch of tunes on a clarinet that all somehow related to the word time. There was a bunch of speeches from local politicians, and then it happened. The crane lifted the cuboid up into the air, swung it across the site, and gently lowered it down into the waiting jig and mortar. Sandwich. I did not envy the construction people having to low in a very heavy concrete block while hundreds of people were staring at them with anticipation. That person's watching so closely, I'm amazed they didn't bring their own spirit level. Finally, the fourth block was in and everyone celebrated. The atmosphere was fantastic. I, however, managed to hunt down a software developer, someone who worked on the augmented reality version of the Zeit Pyramida in one last attempt to find someone who cared about the off by one error. We're here mainly because of the, uh, the off by one mm. error. Do you know what the plan is? Like, I know it's a long time away. Yeah. Is there a plan for the fact it's going to finish 10 years early? The, the date of 3183 and yep. 3193. Uh, it's the last stone is going to be set on uh, 83. Yep. 
uh, but to finish up the art projects, we have last decade, like it's going to be finished in 93. Yeah. So you'll have a 10 years of celebrations. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> last uh, 10 years just to realize now it's finally done, yeah. And then, the big, <laughs> and then on the big anniversary, the 2400 year anniversary. Yeah, we're going to celebrate it really big. If you're still we, there, but someone, yeah, yeah, someone. Yeah, yeah. Nope, Lucas didn't seem that worried either, but that was it. The day was over, we all went home, the sun set, ready for the first dawn of a new evolution of the Zeit Pyramida. Yep, those are blocks. Four of them. Mm. You know, they really didn't care that they're going to have a problem in 1,170 years. I mean, what's the future's problem? I, I have an idea to fix it. Oh, really? Yeah, do you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so my idea, I want to make clear, is not a pyramid scheme. Right. It is a pyramids scheme. All right, let's see it. Right, pyramids. What are you thinking? So I have an exciting opportunity for the people of 20 years time. Right. Because once we have six blocks. So two more over here. Yeah, we could then start creating um, a pyramid which does include the odd square numbers of base oh. six. Oh, yeah, uh -huh. okay. So some of the, the second layer will touch four. Of so you'd have 36. Mm -hmm. So we, do, we get to six. Yep. Mm -hmm. Then we extend out into the six by six. Yep. Mm -hmm. 36. Six by six, five by five. 25, mm -hmm. 16, by yep. yep, nine, oh yep. Okay, so that should total 91. Right. And then we start on the second pyramid. Now this one is a little bit smaller. Yep. Still using the odd square numbers, but it starts at four by four. Now, there is a little bit of an issue because either we'll have to extend the, <sighs> the, yeah, the kind of base foundation. Because you've got a six by six and a four by four. Yes. So you really need a 10 by 10 mm -hmm. yep. and this is eight by eight. Or, or? <laughs> and I'm leaving this to the future people, uh, in what? That's the theme. Yeah. Nine hundred yeah. years time. Nine hundred and ten years yep. time. Yeah. Um, once the first larger pyramid is complete, we could create an upside down pyramid funnel yes. on top. Yes. So, going the yep. other way. Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> oh, that's really nice. Yeah. And they'll have the structural blah blah yeah, blah by then. Out. Yeah, yeah. It's a thousand years from now. Mm -hmm. That's really nice. So I thought triangle numbers, mm -hmm. not laying out a triangle, okay. but like going up in a triangle. Mm -hmm. And I was like, well, 120, 121, we're not talking triangle numbers, but 55 is a triangle number. Yep. That's the first 10 numbers mm -hmm. summed, 1 through 10, 55. Yep. Mm -hmm. If you double that, you get 110. 11 to go. And then 11 is the next number after. Oh! So what you can do is do 1, 1, and then 2, 2, and then 3, 3, okay. 4, 4, all the way up to 10, and then 10, and then 1, 11, 121. That's 21 numbers in total, which is itself a triangle number. Oh, it's the sixth so... triangle number. So we do a triangle spiral. So mm -hmm. we do, we do six. So uh, same as you. Mm -hmm. We do, we don't have to decide whose plan yep. for another thirty years, ten years from now. Boom. Twenty years. We're up to six. Mm -hmm. I then suggest we take a right angle. So we do six, and then we do five this way, and then after <laughs> you've done five this way, you then turn and you do four this way, mm -hmm. and four this way will line you up with that one here. Okay, yep. Then you do three this way, which will get you one short of there. Yeah. Then you do okay. two this way, which will get you back to here. And then you do one this way right in the middle. This will be 11. Nice. Right in the middle. Yeah. So, so it'll go up as a triangle number slope, uh -huh. but like low res. And then it'll spiral around to have uh, the pillar in the middle. So it's a triangle slope in a triangle spiral, very so pleased. So you're actually going to lose less space than this foundation pad. You're going to have an excess. Yeah. yeah. Well, the same is if we do your double upside down pyramid, yeah. it's all going to be a six by six footprint, mm -hmm. which means you've got like a place to sit and view. Viewing we'll put some form. seats in. It'll mm -hmm. be lovely. Huh? Yeah. It's going to be great. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> One of those. De we've got a while to decide. In the comments below, if you've got a better idea, put it in the comments. We will read them this time, I promise. So you can give us another suggestion for 121. But you have to start. These are all, you're not allowed to move these. Or you can vote which one of ours. The, the double pyramid, ridiculous spiral. I actually might vote for yours. I think it's nice. Oh, now I want to vote for yours. <laughs> I'm of the opinion now that the mistake is part of the artwork. Because if we open the door to changing it as we go, 
then we're probably not going to end up with the finished product that matches Munford's original vision. And for me, that is the artwork. One person had a plan and it's being executed over tens of generations of humans. And I think that's pretty amazing. And I think we'll do it. I know people are going to be very skeptical. I think it's possible. I believe once we get past the first row, so 40 years from now, we're putting in the last block over there. I'll be 82. If the next block goes in, and actually I don't know if they're going to zigzag or spiral around or left to right or whatever, but once we're onto the next row, that's escape velocity. And I feel like then people, like 10 years is such a perfect amount of time because it's within very recent memory of the previous one. And no one wants to be the first generation that breaks it after a mere 10 years. So I think once we get past the first row, it will carry on. Even if it stops going, I mean, the Temple of Zeus in Athens, ancient Greeks started that, they stopped. It sat there untouched for hundreds of years. There was one attempt to restart it. And then the Romans show up centuries later. I mean, only they had the ego to roll in and Hadrian's like, you know what, I'm gonna finish it. And they picked up the project and finally finished it. So I think even if this does grind to a halt, I suspect a century or two later, it'll start back up again. And the concrete will last. I mean, we've got Roman buildings made of concrete from well over 1200 years ago. So I think the material will stand. I think the technology will advance. I think the only significant change will be, I suspect it won't always be concrete. I suspect it'll be the same shaped cuboid but what it is will change. Like maybe there'll be some granite ones, maybe towards the end they'll be 3D printed in place. I don't know, who knows what's gonna happen with technology and materials, but I believe the shape will happen. And yeah, I suspect in 1,160 years from right now, the 120th block will go in and then there'll be 10 years of dwelling on their math mistake. There you have it. Thanks for watching the video and we'll see you all here, literally exactly here in the year 2033. Put it in your diaries right now. It's going to be very exciting. I can't wait to see the next installation. But now that we're all done this time, um, we were chatting about, we've seen a lot of interesting responses and I feel like there's kind of three different responses people have to this ridiculous artwork. You can either hate it, oh it's not goodness. for you. Some yeah. people really don't like it. I can already feel the comments. It's okay, it's okay not to like it. It's yeah, art, that's the that's point. Fine. You can love it, that's me. <laughs> so, you know, I, I finally put my finger on it. I, because I love going to old ruins from previous civilizations because of that sense of time. Mm -hmm. And this for me is the same sensation, but in reverse. Like I'm still looking at just a few rocks, but I'm looking at the beginning of something that will be here for millennia, as opposed to looking back. So I, th I think it's great. I really, really like it. You could be terrified nice. by, I mean, time is a terrifying concept and starting something that takes this long, it takes a lot of courage. Um, it's, yeah, it's, it's, daunting. it's quite daunting, but in a, in a beautiful way, a beautiful kind of terrifying, because there's a lot of hope in that I think so. as well. Yeah, yeah it's, it's making us think long-term. Lucy hates it. My wife, Lucy, <laughs> she get it's like, the the agrophobic version of time mm. and the fact that like she's like but it, it just stresses her about mm. the effort and the time required so it's fine you can, it's art it's producing emotions it's definitely it's definitely art if you want to see more of the art side of this alien is doing a you're doing a, a video on tiktok yes it'll be vertical that's the one <laughs> if you're sick of this horizontal ratio we'll link alien's tiktok below and thank you so much for coming along this has been oh, a huge amount of fun yeah. i was so worried because i got COVID 11 days before the flight. Like that's when the symptoms started. And I was like, I should be okay, but I don't know. And you've been a, an excellent replacement. <laughs> thank, thank you for coming along and filling in. Well, I mean, the people of the third block had no idea that that could even be an issue. Who, yeah, yeah. Th there would have been a pandemic between yeah. the third block and the fourth. Who knows by the time, ah, oh, wow. <laughs> Stay tuned. I mean, don't do other stuff, but in 10 years, come back. <laughs>